Hi, this is Bill Olet, and we're here today to talk about the persona. I'm here with Rafaela Colela. Is that right? Am I yeah, right? yeah okay. Rafaela Colela, yes, perfect. Okay. So we're going to be talking about uh, the persona for the beachhead market. And uh, Rafa has a great company called Cannonball, yep. which we're going to talk a little bit about. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the company before we talk about the persona, so they know what the idea basically yeah, is about. Yeah, absolutely. Cannonball is a, an email app. What we do with automatically organizes messages in the inbox in an intuitive way so that people which are overwhelmed by email they can re-enjoy a fun fresh experience because email was your original social network and uh, now people are overcrowded by so many different things while we put it in a beautiful new format very intuitive and so they can enjoy communication through email again. I would expect an Italian to put things in a beautiful format. <laughs> and if, another way we said that we are interior designer for the inbox, no? We make it well, like beautiful and light and we yeah. start on iPad. So we are all overwhelmed with email, but we're going to focus on the process here related to this problem. So let's talk about, you know, you have to have a customer. You Absolutely. Know, and, and you, and, and in your, it's good, as we talk about in your founding team, to have the persona. Yeah. Um, it's good and bad. But let's first talk about how did you start this company? Talk about how you experience a problem and how you look at yourself as the persona. Yeah. So we, uh, we felt very overcrowded by email. And we, me, my partner and I wanted to do, started to think, okay, how can we solve it for ourselves? No? How can, given what's in our inbox, because everybody does email and everybody does email in a different way. I know you do with a lot of folders and so on. In our case, we have a lot of computer generated messages, things which are more visual, we shop online, we have receipt, and we wanted to make sense of that context. No? So we started to create that. And so we said, okay, this is the solution for us. And then at that point, that also had a lot of implication on the future strategy. And that also came out with conversation with people and stakeholders over time, potential uh, people to fund us. And yeah. they tell, you are coding for the people you are creating this experience, you should go to market in a different way. So the early way how you conceive a product had a lot of implication going forward. So this is, I mean, I think that's a really important point is once you know you know, who your target customer is, getting feedback from people who aren't in that target customer. Like yep. you said, when I first saw it, I said, I don't really understand this, but I'm not your target customer because yeah. I handle email a different way. Yeah. Yeah. And you shouldn't be discouraged by that if someone gives you feedback. Yep. You've really got a laser focus on your persona. Yep. So tell us, who is your persona? So our persona are ladies in between uh, their 30s, early 40s. They spend a lot of time uh, when they're at home at night, maybe when they're iPad. Uh, now there are more iPad than iPhone in the yeah. United States. Uh, iPad are the biggest platform on the internet at night. And basically there is a new uh, term which is called couch shopping. No, mm -hmm. iPad has replaced the book at bedtime. All these people, they spend a lot of time browsing. And the only place in which they're uh, experience is not smooth on the tablet, it's email, which is why we thought, okay, this way of doing email, the way we are proposing it, it's in line with everything else they do on the iPad, and that's great. And they are ladies, um, sometimes they're single mom, other times no, they like to shop, they like to browse, and they're very similar to my partner and also in part to myself. So we've been doing that for us, and yeah. it really mirrors our potential first user. So why did you pick women, and why did you pick, you know, w in their 40s? Can you give us more specific about that? Yeah, because the, those are the ones which has been uh, uh, connecting a lot, uh, 40s, also 30s. They are the ideal customer of all the of services like Gilt, Fab, uh, those daily deal uh, sites, but the one who are on the other hand more design oriented, uh, they spend a lot of time sharing those things. They are very several social components, they share it with their friends and so on. So that built up and really created the identity kit and the way of behaving of somebody for whom we've been building for months at this point, yeah. So let's, so how did you get, to the, 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 one of the challenges if you're the persona, yeah. you know, which you're not a woman, but you, you understand it, you know, you said on your founding team, but how do you not project what you want and how are you confident that, how do you get comfortable that you're, you're really reflecting a broad-based persona, not just what you want. Well, uh, that has been the importance also to brainstorm for months with the people in the space, no? Yeah. Uh, from 
uh, investor and some of them are investing in these companies and you yeah. what was uh, we spoke with people who are investing in guilt in fab we spoke with people in this company so they could give us an earlier sense of course we spoke with hundreds of people in this panel in this uh, in this market focus and sometimes also we speak with those who are not in our focus like yes. you were saying that for us also is important to say we are going after a specific market and somebody else doesn't like us, which is very, it's very important for not to us, for, for us to know. Because otherwise, if everybody was kind of liking us, but nobody too much, it wouldn't make sense. Right. You know, segmentation makes sense when you are attracted right. to somebody, and for somebody else, they are completely indifferent to your idea. Say, this is not for me. Right, right. And that's when you select something, that means you deselect something else. Yeah. So you have to be, so you have to be willing not to follow them when they give you advice. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely. Laser focus, starting for something, building on that, building around those people, being, creating meaningful connection, test it, and then we will take it from there. So how much of your persona is proxy that they do guilt and some of these other things? Yeah. Is that is that a big part of your persona that you know what other applications they're using? Yes. Uh, during like almost one year of spending time with, uh, since we were at the early concept, we wanted to know what's on their iPad or on their iPhone, what are their uh, habits, what do they do regardless of you know, their digital self, but uh, how do they spend their time, how do they spend their money, do they share, no, yes, what social network do they do? So really to create a profile and having an idea, because that will help us also to advertise one day in certain places and so on. Yeah. So we talk about this concept of don't try to go find them out there, even if you know that they're 30-ish, 40-year-old mm -hmm. women. Go to the watering holes where they are. And yep. by identifying places like guilt, you're getting to them where they are. And it also allows you to really reduce your cost of customer acquisition. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Yeah, uh, in fact, we're also um, considering uh, uh, speaking more with this company to evaluate potential of scaling up relationship in the next six months over for also for customer acquisition because in reality we create immediate advantages for this company because we, cre we increase the open rate for them. Mm -hmm. So having a possibility to you know, uh, put together the user, the company which is interested in them, and our platform, we are starting some synergies around there. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So let's talk about the process of coming up with your persona in the beachhead market. Yeah. How long did that take you? I mean, you all knew that kind of this is what you want, but mm -hmm. how, did, how long did it take for you to figure out the, the persona? Uh, in a way, not too much, because we are doing it for us. So we, we, we thought, okay, this is, uh, this is how we feel, so this right. is our possibility to have a good shot, to go do a good product. Right. And then, of course, we had to go out there and understand who looked like us, yeah. but uh, uh, it was, uh, it was, I remember uh, we had a, a conversation with the venture capitalists who had invent, invested in Guild. At that yeah. time, we were creating something very techy yeah. on the internet, a plugin for Gmail that you may remember, and he told us, guys, you, are, you, should, do, you should go iPad, because yeah. iPad is where these companies are finding the best fit. Yeah. This is, uh, and that had been happened already for the previous couple of months, that some people were telling us you should shift the platform. And also what happened in those uh, three, four months is that iPad had a boom. That was last year. Yeah. The number of iPad uh, outgrew the number of iPhone, and the demographic shifted. Yeah. When we had the first conversation, iPad was predominantly male, and so I was saying to my partners, oh, iPad, I'm not sure it's for us. But then it was the boom of women acquiring iPad in the second past part of 2012, which was why it made sense for us. Yeah, and it's interesting. Sometimes you can use these, these uh, platforms to identify your persona. It helps you. It's another factor in it. And there'll be a really good proxy um, for increasing LTV. And yeah. in this case, people who had iPads had a much higher LTV. Absolutely. They were, they were doing a lot more e-commerce than people were doing on their phones. So yeah. targeting that platform, making that part of your persona, I think was a very, very smart thing. Yeah. So yeah. what other lessons have you learned from the persona that you'd like to share with our, our students out here? Well, uh, know your customer, understand what they like, understand where they are going, see the trends and other trends. It's like these people start to use much less the computer at home. They're yeah. starting not to have a personal computer anymore. And so at home they do just do tablet, have them live through the product for some time, uh, test it. But on the other end also, uh, it's, uh, it's like the doctor who wants to spend some time with the patient 
but uh, it's also not that the patient many times doesn't know what he needs or what he feels. So you want to see how do they react, but you try also to clean the noise and not to see their bias and maybe they know that you are looking at them. So you need to uh, mediate a little bit and not taking the immediate feedback, but try to understand what would they like. And that's also, it's very important. Yeah, so I think that's a really good point. And there was uh, Wayne Gretzky, who's a great hockey player, who wasn't particularly big, wasn't particularly fast, wasn't particularly strong, but he was a great hockey player. And someone said to him, "How do you? How, why are you such a good hockey player?" And he said, "It seems everybody's going to where the puck is. I try to figure out where the puck might go yeah. or is going to go, and I, I go there." And I think that's a great point. When you're thinking about your persona, um, think about where the persona is going to be going. Um, and what opportunities that, that will lead you to. And I think Cannon, Cannonball is a great example of that. So, Rafa, thank you very much. We look forward to seeing how this is going to go. Thank you so much, Bill. And you Bill. make us so proud. Thank you so much. All right.